Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Chloe, and today's video is going to be my first plan with me for the year 2022. I did do my plan with me portion of the month of January in my setting up my 2022 planner video. I will put it up there in the cards if you haven't seen that. I did organize the month of January in that video, but this video is going to be my first official plan with me. You know what I mean. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the process of me decorating as well as just adding a voiceover so you guys can listen to me explain my process and also just ramble because I like to ramble. So if you are interested and excited to keep watching, then let's just get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just get started. So as you could probably already tell from the thumbnail of this video as well as the intro, I decided to go with a pink and green theme for the month of February. The reason that I decided to choose this theme is just because over the last few years, I have chosen pink as a color scheme for the month of February in my bullet journals as well as my planners. And I still wanted to keep it consistent to this year because pink kind of represents Valentine's Day, which lies in February and I really like the concept of Valentine's Day or just the concept of love so I wanted to follow that for this month but I did want to follow something different so I added the color green. I just think these two colors go so well together so there are no other topics or concepts that I decided to focus on. I just wanted to focus on these two colors. I decided to experiment a lot more with the layouts or what type of lettering I wanted to do. I decided to do this lettering where I use clear memo sheets and wrote the lettering there so the lettering is kind of see-through. I wrote the stencil in a book and because the clear paper was a memo sheet, I could just adjust it and write my desired lettering on top of it. I am not the best at explaining but as you can see that is what I'm doing here and I really like the way it looks looks I like that I could layer and put them on top of one another and it creates this dimension honestly I just love the look of it I highly suggest you guys try this out you could use tracing paper or baking paper perhaps the paper that I'm using is actually from Muji so if you have access to that you can get yourself one of their clear memo sheets honestly it's such a fun way to do lettering so if you have the means to do it do it as well as the other stationary items that I use in this video I will have them linked or named down below in the description so make sure to check that out other than that I just decided to decorate the lettering or decorate the surroundings of it so it's less lonely and empty I also decided decided to add tasks for this month. I am using the Mossery Planner for 2022 and I have been loving it so far. I've been so productive doing my weekly spreads for January and I've been really on top of my habit trackers and my monthly spreads and I'm just really motivated. So I'm really excited to use this planner this month especially because I have a two color color scheme and I'm just gonna have a lot more fun with it. As you can see, I also added the days of the week at the top as well as coloring in the days of the month with these highlighters. Nothing too crazy, I just wanted to add a pop of color because I am all about color. Anything with color, I will put it on the page. I like anything that has a lot of decoration. I am a maximalist, so this is a style I like. So if you're into minimalism, I am sorry to disappoint, but as you can see, this is probably not going to be minimal. So yeah, I decorated it a little bit more with some extra stickers before moving on to the next page. Page. I just really wanted all the stickers to match the overall theme so everything looks put together and just all works well together. So for the next thing that I decided to do, I decided to decorate my weekly spread. So the weekly spread is 
you know, simple. It already has a layout because this is a planner. I don't have to set anything up. Actually, as you can see, I like to do these borders by adding washi tapes on the edges. When I did this, I accidentally cut the edge of the page too much. Like I actually didn't cut the excess of the washi tape. I just full on cut the page. So I hope you guys can't see that, but it's fine. It's not noticeable. I'll just try not to do it again the next time. But I just like adding these borders just because it just fills more space up. When I don't add these borders with my washi tape or by drawing them with a highlighter or marker, I feel like it looks empty. These borders just take up more space. When there's space or empty space that hasn't been filled, it really bothers me. So that is the reason why I like adding these borders. But I also just added this lettering, which is first week of February. Nothing crazy. Just did it in a green piece of paper because it fits the theme. Just used some glue tape and stuck it. I just like the layering aspect of it. Kind of like scrapbooking. I really like the way that looks. If you aren't familiar with my style, that is pretty much my style. So yeah, you can see I am just cutting bits and pieces of paper. Don't worry, I am recycling these papers as best as I can. I try to save them or use them up as much as I can. And yeah. I kept it simple by writing the days of the week with just regular brush pens and that is pretty much it. For this month, I honestly don't really have that many goals in terms of my planner. I just want to keep it consistent, keep it simple. I don't really want to overwork myself because I suffered a lot of that last year in 2021. I just want to be able to use my planner effectively and not feel so pressured and stressed about it because my planner or your planner, it shouldn't give you stress. It should keep your life organized and I am just hoping that that is the main thing that it gives me. Organize organization but also happiness honestly lately it has been really good so i think i am doing a good job so far what i've been doing to kind of change that and i kind of addressed this in my last planner video is to use my planner every single day the moment i wake up so in order for me to keep consistent or keep using my planner is to make it a habit to actually touch it. It sounds self-explanatory but at the same time I developed these habits over time where I would rather just decorate my planner or feel the pressures of needing to make it pretty rather than using it to keep my life organized. So it was a very bad headspace and I have repeated myself a lot if you've watched my videos but that is what I did or that was my relationship with my planner and I feel like I'm slowly getting better. I know that it's only the second month but that's pretty much what I'm aiming for for this year, nothing else. Other than that, I've also decided to use my habit tracker a lot more. I am really loving the habit tracker system in the Mossery Planner. I just feel like it's so easy to forget or touch it but the system or layout of the habit tracker in this planner is just so simple and you are only jotting down four habits that it doesn't feel overwhelming i'm using it a lot and i'm really happy about that at the end of my weekly spreads for the month of february or any other month in this planner there is also a space to reflect on the month but instead of that i decided to add a brain dump page because i've noticed that i do a lot of notes on random things that occur such as planning for the next month or just things I need to jot down for upcoming months that I can't add into my future log for example so the brain dump page is something that I have found useful and I can't wait to use for this month but yeah that brings us to the end of the plan with me video I feel like we powered through that I, there is nothing else that I can talk about but overall I really hope you guys enjoyed listening to me explain the process of me decorating my planner and I really like like how it looks so I hope you guys think so as well. Let me know what theme you guys decided to do for the month of February and yeah thank you so much for watching.
So that brings me to the end of my plan with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have always done a pink theme for the month of February. And although it is still pink for this month, I did add the color green. So I, I feel like it's a lot more fresh and new. And I really love the color scheme. So I hope you guys feel the same way. I had a lot of fun decorating and I've been really liking my planner. So if you're interested in the planner that I am using, remember that I will have all the links down below in the description and the names and yeah so that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a good day please take care of yourselves always and i'll just see you in my next one Bye bye